We're here at the Winfrey Hotel here in Hoover, Alabama, the third day of the SEC Media Days. And the commissioner, the eighth commissioner of the SEC, is taking over for a good one. Mike Slive, who retired due to prostate cancer. They're good friends. And I had a chance to catch up with him to talk about his new role as the head man in charge of the SEC. Take a listen to the commissioner, Greg Sankey. Of course, first year here as the lead guy taking over from Mike Slive. And Greg, I want to talk to you about just how's it feel now. I know you said Monday was kind of a crazy day and a crazy moment for you. Well, I had the good fortune of being here for 12 years, but the reality is it's different. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity to share a vision yesterday and then uh, downstairs on radio to literally go from mm -hmm. Baton Rouge to Nashville to Little Rock um, and all across the southeast and just talk about this great conference is an honor, but it'll wear you out a little bit too. Well, you're replacing a, a great commissioner, Mike Slive, and I know you guys were very close, and you talked about uh, his battle with prostate cancer. Just talk about your relationship with him and, and how he's doing. You know, Mike, Mike and I talked Monday before my presentation. We talked again this morning. Um, one of the really warm moments is when we were swapping offices. He was moving out and I was moving in. We had a really special hour just to share memories. Um, he was a friend before he was my boss, and he and I have talked about the expectation that we'll be friends for many years to come. And one of the things that's been fun is to be kind of on the inside as his health has improved, and he's been honored uh, repeatedly for his great work and to just share in the joy of a, a job well done on his behalf. No doubt about it. Now, this is a great conference over the last couple of years, and our folks are in the SEC, and the football dominance is over. Just, uh, you, I know you don't feel that way, but what are your plans as far as going forward with this conference? Well, the focus yesterday was on the, the young people who populate our roster, and the stories even uh, from folks who may have moved on in life to come back and complete their education. Education is at the center of what we do, but at the same time, we have to compete. We have to, uh, as I said yesterday, I want to win every championship, but I want to do it the right way. And part of Mike's leadership and the leadership of our presidents and chancellors, athletics directors, and the participation of our coaches has been that we've overcome this notion that you know, we're not doing it the right way. We're walking through the front door with our heads held high, and we have a leadership opportunity because of the success that I think will continue uh, because of the resources and the leadership we have on our campuses. Now, one of the unique things that you did is the, the whole Twitter thing. I was reading about it. You're on Twitter. You changed kind of the name. Now you're at Greg Sankey, and you're enjoying t Twitter? So far. We'll see. You know, <laughs> I said when there's a bad officiating call, I think we'll have four years of great officiating, and then maybe in the fifth year we'll stub our toe, and uh, people might get angry. But I think there's an opportunity to engage. I learned a couple of things earlier today from fans that, mm -hmm. that tweeted about, hey, we'd like to see this or that. And then those that want to be a little bit more negative, I just move on. I don't really need to spend much time there. Let me ask you finally, uh, with all the stuff going on with college athletes, uh, you know, domestic violence and things like that, how can that improve? I mean, you know, Jimbo Fisher and the ACC are getting a lot of heat with these players. But how can, you know, as, in, as college football, how can this improve? Well, my first observation is the stories are about one or two or three young men who've made bad decisions. There may be 82 83 others on the same football team who have made great decisions every day. And here we've told 14 stories of young people who are playing football, some in their academic pursuits, some in their family decisions, some to say, I want to wait on the NFL. Those are good stories, so let's start there. But then we'll engage a working group in this conference to, to try to get ahead of these issues and say, what's the right role for the conference, if there is any? Uh, what are the best practices on our campuses uh, for educating young people? And maybe where, where an individual doesn't have the kind of basis for the right decision making that we might foster that, which is what we do on educational, uh, on educational campus and on university campuses from an educational standpoint every day. So I think there are opportunities to overcome, but part of it is saying there's a lot that goes right in the SEC and in college athletics every day. Well, I appreciate him uh, joining me because we, we have a mutual friend. Gary Reese is a guy who played with me in the, with the New York Giants. He actually has a relationship with him. So we talked a little giant football, so he's got a fan in me. Uh, with the Commissioner Greg Sankey. Well, that's going to wrap things up for sports. We'll come back in just a moment.